Natural property by using Poisson table as you know or you have learned before how to use binomial table so it is same as a binomial table and you, you can apply for Poisson table okay so for example if x with Poisson distribution where the lambda is 5.5 .5, so you open the book the st statistical table part Poisson on page uh, the Poisson table is start from page 10 so for lambda 5.5 .5 is at page 13 so to find x greater than and equals to 5 so we just look at the table directly you take from r equals to 5 and lambda 5.5 .5. so the answer is 0 0.6425 okay this is directly from the table so we read all the x in the table is greater than and equals to so for x less than and equals to 5 means that 5 is also included okay it's 5 so 5 is also included so because of in the table we read the greater and equals to so we cannot take at the less than part so we have to take all which is 1 minus with the part that does not include which is x greater than and equals to 6 so read from the table so we got 0 0.4711 so the answer is 0 0.52 Eight, nine. Okay, and then when we want to use table to calculate Px equals to 5, so means that we have to take Px greater than equals to 5 minus Px greater than equals to 6. So, x greater than equals to 5 is at part A. We already read from the table. Okay, minus with x greater than equals to 6, which is here. 0 0.4711. So, when you, when you minus, you will get 0 0.1714. And the last one for D, 328, where 8 is not included. We got 3... And then 8, 3 to 8. So, we have to calculate from 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, to read from the table, so we have to take at x greater than equals to 3 minus with x greater than and equals to 8. Because our 8 is not included. So, we minus at 8 if you take 7 greater than equals to 7 so you have you minus 7 so that's why we have to take at 8 because of 8 is not included if 8 is included so we have to take the next number which is 9 so by reading from the table so you got 0 0.9 one one six minus with zero point one nine zero five. So calculate by using your calculator. So you got zero point seven two one one. Okay, so next example. So we got an average of three cars arrive at highway toll gate every minute. 
So if this street is approximately Poisson distribution, what is the probability that exactly five cars will arrive in one minute? Okay, so we know that the average is lambda. So we've got three cars arrive every minute. Means that for every minute, we've got three cars arrive. So by defined, x is the number of car arrive. in one minute so our distribution for part a so because of the question asked you in one minute so we got x distribute with poisson distribution where the lambda is three so we have to find five car so x equals to five Okay, so for all x equal, there's an equal. So we can just directly use the formula e power of negative lambda, where lambda is 3. And then 3 power of 5 over 5 factorial. So when calculate in your calculator, so you got 0 0.1008. And then B, 7 cars will arrive in 5 minutes. Okay, so we know that in 1 minute, your lambda is 3 for 1 minute. But the question here states in 5 minutes. So we need to find the new lambda in 5 minutes. So you need to multiply 3 with 5. So we got 50. So this is the new the new lambda. So we got the new distribution of poison. So we got new lambda which is 15. So we need to find 7 cars. So B X equals to 7. By using formula as well. So E power of negative 15 times 15 power of 7 over 7 factorial then you can calculate in your calculator you will get 0 0.0104 and next example in a library the mean number of students borrowing books between 8 p.m. to 8.40 p.m. is 8. To find the probability that no student borrows books in the first 5 minutes. So we need to calculate because of from 8 to 8.40 minutes, we got 40 minutes. So the lambda for 40 minutes is 8. But the question for A, the question asks you to find for the first 5 minutes. So we need to find the new lambda. So we know that for 8 to 8.40 p.m., the lambda is 8. We know that it is 40 minutes. But, we need to find for the first 5 minutes. So, we need to calculate for 1 minute first. So, we know that 40 minutes, the lambda is 8. So, for 1 minute, we need to divide 8 with 40. So we got 1 over 5 or 0 0.2. And for 5 minutes, we need to multiply with 5. So if we take 1 over 5, multiply with 5, so we got 1. So 1 over 5, multiply with 5. Got one. So the lambda here is 1. These are the questions. So we have to write the distribution, which is the poison. In the first 5 minutes, we got lambda equals to 1. And then, the question asks to find no student. Because x is a number of student. 
that borrows books. Okay, so p x equals to zero. So we have to use formula to make it easy. Over zero factorial. So when you calculate your calculator, so you got zero point three six seven nine. Okay, then B at least one student borrows book in the first fifteen minutes. At least one. So it's x greater than n equals to one for the first fifteen minutes. So we already know for one minute the lambda is one over five. So we just multiply for fifteen minutes. So the lambda take one over five in one minute. Multiply with fifteen. So we will get three. So this is the new lambda for part B. We need to write the new distribution where x is a Poisson distribution with a new lambda 3. So we need to find at least one student. So p x greater than equals to 1 equals to by using Poisson table. So you will get 0 0.9502. Okay. And then c need we need to find the probability that 4 to 6 students borrow books between 8 p.m. and 8.40 p.m. So we know that the lambda from 8 p.m. to 8.40 p.m. is 8. So write a new distribution with a new lambda. So we need to find Px from 4 to 6. There is an equal sign because of the words 2 and then 4 to 6 4 to 6 both included so we need to take at 4 px greater than and equals to 4 minus with px greater than and equals to 7 so when we read from the table so we got 0 0.95 Seven six minus zero point six eight six six. So when you minus, you will get zero point two seven one. Now we are going to learn how to find mean and variance for a Poisson distribution. So if x is a Poisson variable with parameter lambda. Then mean is equals to lambda and variance also equals to lambda and standard deviation is equals to set of lambda. So if x we are going to do this example if x equals if x is a Poisson distribution where lambda is 1.8 so find the mean variance and standard deviation. So as we know the mean is equals to lambda which is equals to 1.8 and the variance equals to lambda which is equals to 1.8 and the standard deviation standard deviation there is no square so we just take a square root of 1.8 so by using your calculator you will get 1.3 Four one six take until four decimal places. So now you know how to find the Poisson distribution, and also you should know how to find the mean and variance for a Poisson distribution. So you can do this exercise by yourself and check the answer. If you got any problem, you can just ask your lecturer. Thanks.